Hi, hello ECMSI Inglewood family and friends. This is Miss Tashonda. I am here on campus and I want to give you a little update on what our parkway project looks like. You know, right before we had to go on out on quarantine, um, we were working with one of our community partners in designing a uh, garden space of what it would look like right outside of our school to provide food for our immediate community, right? So we're looking at creating a food forest. And right when we were getting into the good work of it, um, we were off on quarantine, but work has continued. And so I wanna show you what's been happening here at campus while we've been gone. Another one of our lovely and generous um, community partners from Enviroscape. Um, came with some of his um, employees and they fixed all of our irrigation. I'm gonna flip this around so you can see. Um, he did all this irrigation where he pulled all the weeds and then he laid lines right down underneath. You can see these little pop-up sprinklers. And so we have water now out here. That was one of our um, physical attributes we were worried about being able to water these raised beds that we're gonna be building for our Parkway food forest. So while it's waiting for us to come back and build these raised beds and get some crops in here, uh, Mr. Eddie has gone ahead and planted a few banana trees to try to help work the soil. So these sweet little babies went in last week. There are, I believe five of them, maybe six, and they're about eight feet apart so that we still have room to build our beds. Remember, we're building five beds out here in this space right off of 115th at the corner of Yukon. And then we also have uh, some cover crop to put in here while we are waiting to come and actually finish the project. So fava beans are a cover crop and we're going to plant those in between these bananas because fava beans help put nitrogen back into the soil. So we're gonna let those beauties grow and then we'll go ahead and mulch them down, create some green manure for them so that they could put a lot of nutrients back in that soil. Their roots are gonna break up the compact soil underneath. These banana trees are gonna grow and create some more structure in the soil. And so when we get back here in the fall or late summer, this should be a really great place to start building our beds. We already have our water and we can go ahead and start planting food for our community. I can't wait to show you guys what's next. Keep you posted, show you what the fava beans are looking like once they get to growing and the banana trees and we'll keep an eye on this soil. Hope you're all doing well, miss you.